on January 25, 1973. Ten tourists from Kibishev, today this city is called Samara, set off on a hike from the village of Ilma on the Kola Peninsula. The route was not difficult and belonged to the second category. The young people were led by an experienced athlete, Mikhail Kuznetsov. A few days later, a group of skiers from the Moscow Aviation Institute followed the same route. Its leader, Viktor Samotilov, was the first to see a hand sticking out from under the snow. Muscovites rushed to dig up the body and discovered five more people lying on a tent spread out on the ground. The search for the remaining tourists, which was joined by rescuers, lasted for several more months. During the investigation, it was possible to recreate the sequence of events, as a result of which Kuznetsov's group died. After a rather difficult day's march, the group decided to storm the Chivruai Pass in the dark. It soon became clear that they would not be able to climb it, and then the athletes split up. Part of the group remained in place with equipment, and the scouts went to look for a safe descent. They succeeded, and two of them moved up to the main group to show them the way, but froze along the way. Those who were already below could not leave without skis, and also died. The tourists who remained at the top did not put up a tent, but simply spread it out, and eventually died of hypothermia. We can say that nothing mysterious happened. Bad weather and a series of wrong decisions made by the tourists played a role. However, Experienced hikers believe that everything is not so simple. It is unclear why the experienced athlete Kuznetsov made so many mistakes, some of which look ridiculous even for a beginner. Why did the group try to climb the pass in the dark, and after a difficult day's hike, were they afraid of something? Why did those who remained at the top not put up a tent? After all, there were cases when tourists sat in the shelter for several days, waiting out the blizzard, and then returned back alive and well. Some researchers associate the wrong decisions with the figure of the mythical giant Kaiva. His image, formed by streaks of moss and water, can be seen on a rock near Sato's Arrow, past which tourists passed. Travelers wrote about this old man a hundred years before the Chivruai tragedy. They said that the Sami were very afraid of him, and at the sight of Kuiva, fell into a state of mariakini, hysteria, accompanied by convulsions, anxiety, and hallucinations. It also seems strange that the criminal case was classified, and the archival documents from it disappeared without a trace. One of the tourists' relatives, Nizhny Novgorod businessman Viktor Voroshilov, tried to independently investigate the tragedy. In January 2019, he went to the Chivruai Pass and talked to the rescuers who were looking for bodies. However, even if the man learned something, it will remain unknown. In September of the same year, Victor was killed. It is noteworthy that the documents about the expedition of the Petrograd Institute of the Brain Professor Alexander Barchenko, who went to the Kola Peninsula, also disappeared. The director of the museum, Galina Kulinchenko, says that an attempt to request information about Barchenko's research ended in nothing. First, she was told that the papers were secret, and then she was told that they had burned during the war. This whole story is steeped in contradictions and secrets. This is one of the most terrible tragedies of the USSR in which tourists were involved. Like and subscribe if you want more.